Welcome to another match analysis video. I know it's been a while, but I have not been playing a lot of squad at all uh, post 1.0. Like I said before, I like to let things calm down a lot before I get back into the game. I'll usually use major releases or free weekends as time off to play some other stuff, but I have played a handful of times and this is the uh, best match to talk about in my opinion. Now the beginning of this match is a shit show. Fortunately, I'm mostly leading clan members, but I have a handful of blueberries and my microphone for some reason during this play session was not working during the beginning of matches. It was stuttering and being weird, and it would resolve itself as time went on, but it basically meant I could not talk in command chat and I had to translate everything I was trying to say to my blueberries through Discord and through my clan members, so it was weird. At this point, I'm trying to get people to take the Saphir, they take the scout car instead, it doesn't really matter, I just need a light vehicle to handle backups, and I am ultimately looking at where I want to go with my Logi truck. So the layer we're going to be playing today is Mutelha Kath Ras V2, which this will actually be my first time playing this one, however I have gone through it to put it into squad lanes and I do know roughly how it works. It's a fairly predictable one, with only one lane and a lot of uh, variety and midpoints. As you can see, it's going to go north through the city for the first three flags, and then you're going to have a ton of midpoint options, and then it'll go the opposite direction for the enemy team, south through the city, back up north to their first flag. If you look at this from calf perspective, it looks like this. Now this is a seven flag, which is unusual for Mutaha. Every other Mutaha Ras is a five flag, so you have a little bit of extra time before the midpoints start popping up, where you need to be contesting a lot of different areas. And because of the wide stretch of midpoints on this map, it definitely gets interesting. Whenever I'm looking at a layer and deciding what I want to do, my initial instinct is to look at it from a competitive or from like a scrim perspective where I think if I am in control of every single asset on the map, where would I send everything? How would I play this? And then for a pub game, it's just a matter of dealing with what you have and seeing how you can do your best to get as close to that kind of a play style as possible with what the blueberries are deciding to do and what the blueberries are deciding to take and the control that you have over that. Now because there's such a wide stretch of midpoints on this map and there's no lanes to eventually clarify where they're going to be, it gets a little bit interesting. If this was me preparing for a scrim, I would probably send a Lodgy north, a Lodgy center, and a Lodgy south. Um, ultimately, the center it's going to be best if you could double fob since it'll almost definitely be hot because blueberries will always rush the center regardless of where they know flags are going to be. So it'd probably be best to do a south fob, north fob style thing. Unfortunately, the helicopter's on a delay spawn, so if you were doing a scrim here, you couldn't set all four at the same time. You'd have to have the central logi doubling down, or have perhaps the north logi coming down to build that second one. Regardless, I have to deal with what the blueberries are going to decide to do. And in this instance, um, one makes a good decision and decides to push his logi with nine people towards the mid. The only downside being that he decides to go for a very centralized fob that blocks a lot of other options. But at the very least, with that down, I can somewhat consider the midpoint to be covered. It might not be perfect, it might not be the ideal fob situation, and there's always a chance of failure. But in the end, I want to cover as many midpoints as possible, so I'm going to choose to go south in the event that it goes there. It seems like the north could kind of handle some of these northern uh, points a little bit better than they could potentially handle the southern points. So that's what I'm going to decide to do. The main question after that is what I'm going to do next, because I'm still going to have supply on the truck. You never want to just sit in one location with your truck and put all of your eggs into that basket. So off of game start, my initial thought is I'll go south and then I'll double back and go up north and uh, hit these midpoints as well and possibly put a fob down there. So that if the midpoint goes to one of the external areas, we have two spawn points ready at either one where there's likely going to be not that much contact and people can start shifting over and capping that while most of the action goes down to the center city. Now, as I said before, the big downside to this is that if the enemy team really commits here, which is quite likely, they are fairly likely to overwhelm the one squad going there and get control out of three of the seven midpoints, whereas we, with my strategy, will have control over four of the seven midpoints, thus making it something of a coin toss. So there's a little bit of reliance on teammates going on here, and we're going to see how it plays out. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, um, I'll I like probably look it up. It's HK-53. It's HK-53, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah this is I know what you're talking base. about. It's, um... Set How did you fall out of the vehicle so fast? I don't know. It's magic. It's I'm magic. You. Just, just. You know. I mean, the cost is ten ammo. Okay. 
Okay, mic check. Mic Can you hear me? You Do I make sense? Does my mic work? Ooh, you yes. sound pretty yeah. down. 14 minutes until you Okay, get ready to move, because we're probably not staying here. There's like a 2 out of 7 chance that the midpoint goes here. So don't go too far, get ready to come back to the truck if we have to. Oh, we're hacking now. I love it. So because it's a 7 flag and I have a lot of time, I actually decide to dump everything here to give us into the future. Uh, for fall building on the west side of the map if we get that far. And then just go back for another full load. And while I'm doing that, I'm watching what's going down in the center of the map. This squad gets into one of the most prolonged losing the Lodgy slash losing the fob fights where they're completely spawn wiped but not quite getting killed, constantly barely managing to res each other with one guy left, almost getting the fob up over and over. I pretty much gave it up for dead, and yet somehow they managed to stretch it like two minutes before it actually died and actually managed to revive everyone and get the fob up somehow. So we do have our centralized fob currently active. And the other Lodgy was taken late out of main and is going north towards the other midpoints. So I'm actually going to go back to my guys and try to go north and try to build another um, mid-ish fob. Like I said, the fob that the one guy built kind of blocks everything, so it's going to have to be a little bit further south. But it'll also double to cover Highway Bridge or uh, the other south flag I'm trying to cover should it actually go south. So I can get a better foothold on my flags and get a slight foothold on the middle in case it goes there and then we can see how the north develops. The heli squad also mentions that there's no commander, which I didn't notice, so I grab it during this drive. Dad came back from getting cigarettes, so... Actually, this time, it can take three months. Um, yeah, but then he left at East Burbs. North lane, right? North lane. Right no lanes. Why is this fucked up in here? No lanes. So Let's just check this out, you'll see. Because it could go anywhere along the middle. Really? Yeah. Check the website. That's why I made it. This little girl is yelling at me in Arabic. So after I get that fob, the central fob is still getting absolutely fucked on and off proxy and most likely going to go down, but the other guys do get a north fob. I think there's contact there, but I don't know. At this point, we are contesting at the very least the north two we have the bottom two secured and then the middle three are once again contested at best so we're not looking in the best position right now but there is a chance right now that the flag could pop up somewhere we totally control fortunately the rest of the guys who are on the middle fob start spawning on the fob i just made so at the very least the squads are still pushing to contest to that and if it goes to the south end of the central island we may be in good shape Right now I've driven a little bit close to contact, so I'm just going to pull the Lodgy out to the east, take it kind of towards our final back gap here, and see where things pop up. Because we might be on defense, or we might be moving to contest it. It really all depends. I'm just trying to get the Lodgy removed and get ready to react to where the mid appears. It would be. It would be right Holy fucking shit, there. They haven't got the, they haven't got the intersection yet. Fucking no, they're popping. We held them with everything we had. Alright, we're going to the squad fire. Yeah, man. I love you. And you and your squad. Tell them I said it. Alright. Tell them I said I love every one of them beautiful. Yeah, we're not going to survive to get there. Let me do that. Did you lock the machine gun? It'd be high. Hey, Commander, I'm sure you don't have many resupplies. Would you like a supply run? Whatever, uh. Whatever we roll up. Whatever we get up in the air. Oh, LAV, LAV. I'll try to get some good fobs closer. Is that? Alright. Does uh, any squad want to go ahead and prematurely volunteer like squad 1 or squad 5? So as soon as we get intersection, I can hot drop you to the oh, next point. Okay. Anybody? Hey. you need some uh, assistance? I'm right on the edge of this thing. What was that? Right here. Okay, I... Now, Captain, my captain. Very conservative. <laughs> We're gonna supply the uh, fob to the south you. of the intersection. Someone follow me for a rally. Yeah, yeah, that one there. Captain. So this is a unique situation because I have no idea where the enemy spawn point is right now. Because the people in the middle got immediately proxied and immediately attacked, there was no prolonged firefight where they moved out, started shooting in one direction, and started giving me any kind of context clues. So as far as I'm concerned, the fob can be anywhere on the western end of this uh, island. 
So what I want to do is I want to push cap range real quick and see if I can contest it with one person, see if I can get a close rally, and see if this is going to be something that's reasonable for us to uh, be fighting for, or if the fob is actually there on the flag itself. And I immediately find out, yes, the fob is directly on the midpoint. So the enemy team got incredibly lucky, they only went to one of the seven midpoint locations and fobbed that, and it happened to show up there. Right about. This is the fucking Murphy's Law midpoint, if I've ever seen one. Got the north cover, got the south cover, we can kind of skirt on the south or the north of the center. Two, center of center. Good fun. We got a frank comment. Yo, be advised, no one fucking looks at the goddamn set of this. I thought in top holy, like, super pop kind of thing going on. On that, yeah, that mark for squad six or split. Gotta push it fast yeah, if they full cap east is uh, uh, exposed. I just saw her. Cap, we're 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 the logic. Hat. Yeah, you can't hear your call. Those helmets are their hat. Curse. I will only hear your voice. Baby. Yo, Shweeba. Got some like to fob north of the map. Respond to me. Try to block cap. Nice on, nice on. FTL, please. Yo, are you gonna say something? Fucking say something, dude. Hey, fuck off, fuck that. Can you hear that? That's right, ready, medic. So I was just watching that for a second to see if we were going to have any chance of contesting it, but pretty much once the fob called out that was directly on top of it started getting mentioned, I knew we weren't going to contest it in enough time. So now I'm working on going to defense. Hang with me. Yeah, North. Yeah, be advised, they have enemy, uh, I like how we're camp to the north, all while they're marking as marked, and they have MG encampments marked 100% accurate. Okay. Can I have a bite? I'm going to leave my squad. Yeah. I dropped off uh, supply northern half and I'm I'll bring you back from the southern as well. Hey, squad 8, he's yours from us, just so you know. I didn't know if you knew it was us. Wait, what? Yeah, we're in my position. If you guys would fucking say something, we could take it out. But you guys are just going to be selling us today. Because you guys are going to communicate and use teamwork. I'm just going to not mark the steps. I'm going to go by myself. Fucking you know, teammates or anything. You're spawning on the fob that I built to complain about the Fuck fact me. that you're there alone while you're surrounded by my infantry. Just calm down, dude. Don't need to be talking every two seconds. Uh, I found lab. Or, oh, good Coming back to that logic. I normally don't get snappy in command chat, and I don't recommend ever getting snappy in command chat. I was just annoyed there because things were going not well, and like I said, I had built all of the fobs in the area, I had people in the area, and I was the one who marked the fob that he was complaining that nobody else was helping him kill while there were two other infantry SLs there with him. But regardless, I could have handled that better. I just figured I'd leave it in for the sake of transparency, I'm not trying to hide that, yeah, I get annoyed sometimes. But right now, if you look bigger picture, we have a very interesting situation. Because what I'm going to do is kind of a skeleton defense. It looks to me like we are surrounding the spawn that is on intersection, and because they are super fobbing, my natural inclination is to believe that that will inevitably collapse. There is another fob marked to the north, which could potentially contest our north fob that I'm worried about, but I have people right there now kind of telling me it's not a big deal or it doesn't exist. I can't remember off the top of my head, but basically I mentally zero that one out and don't consider it to be a factor. Similarly, I believe a couple of my guys just took out a Lodgy on the south end. All of this is pointing towards an unsustainable defense for the enemy team. I have to go on our own defense, because if not, I'm just opening it up for any three-man to take a helicopter over here and fuck us over. But at the same time, I kind of want to do it as lightly as possible. I want to get eyes in every direction, but I don't want to fully commit to it, because I believe that the midpoint is going to collapse in our favor, and I don't want to reposition too many people before that happens. Now here's a tip for newer SLs. If you need your squad to spawn on defense, then you need to ask them multiple times and call people out by name who aren't listening, and then, after a long time, you will inevitably get everybody to spawn here. If you want some people to spawn on defense, then you just ask everybody to spawn on defense once and only some people listen, and there you go. And that's basically what I do here. The helicopter squad is working with me and delivering supplies to my fob, so I can at least double fob this, and I'm going to get four or so people looking in different directions on defense just to make sure we don't get snuck up on. If a full squad were to leave the mid and pull up in a lodgy, we would have trouble contesting them and they would likely start uh, influencing cap range, but then I'd be able to shift people over with more urgency, perhaps ask the rest of the team to start coming over, and probably deal with the situation. 
Similarly, as I mentioned in one of my first intermediate guides, there's this law of symmetry in squad where if enough people are going to leave their flag in the center there to come attack mine, that's probably going to be enough to collapse it even faster. And there's pretty much no way in hell they're actually going to full cap and not also go double neutral on their midpoint should they decide to actually push an offense towards me. Now, I want to put a big disclaimer over all this, saying that it's highly risky. I should probably, in most situations, just pull a full defense here, and you guys should almost definitely do that. The only reason I'm doing this half-assed thing is because A, like I said, the midpoint looks like it's going to collapse, and B, I kind of trust my people to get better 360 visual coverage than most blueberries would. I would not recommend doing anything similar to this and doing this kind of skeleton half-assed defense, unless you are very confident of the offense flag falling. And I think it's also worth saying here that I was kind of wrong about this. It took much longer to collapse than I was anticipating, and although I was kind of thinking in the back of my head maybe I would build some mortars or use my commander abilities to influence that, in the end, I didn't want to waste the supply on mortars when I wanted to get another fob up for a leapfrog for when we took the mid, and my commander assets were taking longer to be ready than I was initially anticipating because I didn't check the timer. And ultimately, that defense is just going to hold way better than I anticipated. Our guys are not crossing the street, and when they do, they are not holding a proxy. They're just rushing in, dying over and over. It's probably meat grinding the fuck out of the enemy team, but ultimately it doesn't matter if our guys don't know how to play the spawn game and deal with the spawn that's on the point and are instead just rushing in and dying over and over again. This is worsened by the fact that the SLs are not putting down rallies. If you look over there, you can see I'm the only one who actually got a close rally, despite the fact that they could have some right up on the verge of the flag because nobody's actually leaving it. And it's also just Mutaha. People are unwilling to cross streets on Mutaha. If you build in one of those quadrants in the center island and then a firefight ensues, people are just going to climb to the top of the buildings in their quadrant and shoot across the street and not actually move. I've talked about this in my offense guide. All offense and squad needs to be based around movement, and anything that involves you getting kills but that not being backed up by allowing any kind of movement is just a useless waste of time, and that is very much prominent with this attack that we're seeing. There are still squads that are managing to cross the street and push on, but they don't really know how to hold a stealth proxy, and so when five or six of them manage to get there alive, they're running into seven or eight enemies just spawning on the hab and losing the firefight and restarting all progress. And because, once again, nobody's dropping rallies close, they have to walk a significant amount of time to try that again. And this is just ultimately the definition of a stalemate offense. It's at this point that I'm regretting not just building mortars on defense because I could have resolved this earlier, but I'm still not paying a ton of attention to the middle and I'm still assuming it's going to collapse because it's a very precarious situation for the enemy team. So I start preparing for the next flag in line. As I've mentioned before with leapfrogging, you're always responsible for two flags. If you're on defense, you're responsible for your defense flag and double fobbing that like I have or triple fobbing it depending on the situation, and then preparing for the next flag in line so that you can get there in a hurry if you have the time to do so. Okay, whoever's actually spawning on defense, it's going to be up to you to hold for a bit. I want to prepare for leapfrog. I think they're going to take interstate. So just be careful. It's only three of you. Four. some eyes north, they might try to build on that uh, communication thing. There's only two possible flags after the mid, so we're gonna fob those, so we're ready for the leap. Yeah, come in and take Sounds good. I'm kind of surprised, like, we have a fob south, we have a fob north, and we're not able to do anything. True, the southern fob is kind of far, though. Yeah. If they'd rally off of it, who knows what we could be accomplishing, but I'll have commander assets in a little while, I grabbed it late. This isn't even big enough for FUB. I feel like now is a good time to talk about what I did wrong with this match and how I could have improved, because going back, there's a few things that definitely would have made this a lot smoother. First of all, if I had just taken commander off of game start, I would have it right now, and I would be able to resolve the midpoint right now, and then I'd be ready on the next flag. Second of all, I was bad at predicting how quickly the midpoint would be resolved. This is a shift in philosophy that I would recommend for a lot of experienced players, because there's a ton of clans out there, or comp groups, or just experienced pub SLs who will immediately start blaming the rest of the team for their shortcomings, and just sit there, self-assured, knowing that they did well, and knowing that the loss was on the rest of the team. If you want to win games, you have to ditch that mentality. You have to have a realistic assumption of what the blueberries are going to be able to accomplish, and then you have to try to compensate where they are going to fail. And if you misjudge them and you assume that they are going to do something that they don't end up doing, 
yeah, sure, technically that might be their fault. They might be throwing an easy capture like you see here, but it's not going to help you to shift blame onto them. What's going to help you is to think, how could I have realized this and how could I have compensated for it? And that's exactly what I'm going to start doing now. I'm going to go build the fob to take the midpoint. You guys have heard me say this a million times, that any firefight, any flag, there is almost always one fob that you can build that will easily resolve it in your favor. And because my assets are on such a cooldown right now and I don't actually have them available, that's going to be my only option. Now you can look at this cynically and say that anybody attacking those midpoints could have grabbed their logi and did exactly what I'm about to do now. And yeah, that's technically true. Or anybody on the midpoints could have just rallied off the existing fobs and probably still taken it down easily. And yeah, that's true. But that's not constructive. That's not going to help you win the game. What is going to help you win the game is going to be doing it yourself and making sure that you have everything else covered while you do. Note how many different things I'm doing right now. I handled the back caps. I handled a lot of the midpoint locations, I have built all of the fobs that are currently being used to try to take the midpoint, and I have set on defense once we didn't take the midpoint, and now you're about to see me use a combination of a commander asset and a fob creation to take the midpoint. I am essentially doing almost everything. I can't take credit for everything because obviously if people weren't playing the objective and actually pushing in and making an effort, well I'd have no chance. But I am looking for the game-winning moves where I see them and trying to be everywhere at once to compensate for where the team is slacking. Yes, they are attacking, and yes, that contests the entire enemy team and puts them down into one area, but they don't know how to deliver the final blow. And yes, they are kind of contesting them there and not really allowing them the chance to get onto our defense flag, but at any point the enemy can just take a truck out of main and do that. So I am compensating for that by not allowing a nine-man squad to roll up on a logi and instantly start capturing our defense and fucking us over. And yes, they are technically not really considering the next flag yet, but I already am, and I'm looking about how I can turn this midpoint into a complete roll, and I'm trying to look ahead into future objectives and try to get spawn points down there. Everybody is doing something kind of mediocre to badly, and I am the one who's taking those things and trying to put them up on the next level. I'm not trying to say this to brag or to act like I'm the only important member of the team or anything. I'm just trying to say that this is a strategy that no good players are using. All these comp players or these highly experienced players are just trying to do their thing incredibly well and then complaining when everything else goes to shit. If you change your philosophy to no longer shift blame and assume responsibility for every loss, you will start to be able to do these kind of things more reliably, rather than complaining that you got relegated to backups because no one else did it. Hi, I'm gonna drop the radio here. Sure. I already did. So fast, I didn't see it. I'm gonna pick you guys up out front in front of where you're at. And I'm gonna drop you in the river by the bridge. No, we're gonna do some weird shit. After I build that, I get back into the truck because I want to head back to the fob I had just built before on the next flag because I don't want to use my airstrike quite yet. Now that there's a new fob and a new fast approach from a new angle, a lot of people are going to spawn there and it's possible that it will just overwhelm the shitty super fob in the center of this objective on its own without me needing to interfere. So that's why I am driving away right now rather than using my asset even though it's available. But as it goes, a couple of people die and the general consensus is, hey, we're going to need that. So once I'm at the next fob on the next objective in line, I call it in. And that is the beginning of the role that ensues. The enemy team completely relied on a single fob and that is a very, very easy thing to counter. Not just as commander, as you're about to see me do, but pretty much as any infantry SL if you understand how spawn mechanics work and are able to flank a fob around like I did or get a stealth proxy. But um, let that be the lesson of this match, is that this is one of the best situations I've ever seen in which a single centralized built-up fob has held an objective for a decent amount of time. But the counter is so easy, as you're about to see. Their radio is exposed from the outside, man. Okay, I'm grabbing an A-10 right now then, or an SU. Give me a sec. Uh, can I get a, a market exactly? It's like sitting on top of a roof. Directly on Bravo marker. Directly on Bravo marker. If you hit it from the side, if you hit it from the south, 
Like, from uh, southeast there, if you hit it from that angle. Okay, UAV is going up. Southwest there, yeah, sorry. Mad lad move. Six, are you bringing instruction to us? Look at the blueberry wave I just got off that west fob. We're probably going to take it even without. Squad six, are you bringing instruction to us? They literally had two MGs sitting inside by the oh, tank coming from the west, man. So while I'm watching, people are pushing in close, so I'm holding off. I'll use it if they die, but it looks like they might have it. And ultimately now I'm trying to think of how I want to get my defenders to shift over to offense. I've obviously left them. I'm in the truck far away, so respawning is going to be the best bet. So I tell the blueberry to run west to help with offense, because I don't really like telling blueberries to respawn, because, you know, they hate you for it, whereas my clan is a little bit more used to it and understands the practicality. And I tell the other uh, three members of my clan who I had on defense to give up and get ready for the spawn shift. I'm leaving defense prematurely here, and I wouldn't always recommend it. I just have a good feeling that they're not going to pull up right then, and I can get away with it. Bang. But I see it's time for a tactical suicide. My PUBG video. No. The ball is down. You want me to respawn right now? Yeah. Be advised, enemies are attacking the fog to the north of the intersection at this moment. Rocket strike, stay indoors. Rocket strike, check maps. Don't want to get TK, stay indoors. It'll hit radio and hab. We're burning this fog to the north. Do not come here. Do not come here. Yeah, better start riding that essay. Yeah. Once again, check maps. Stay clear of uh, rockets incoming on intersection. Should be have gone radio a little bit as well. Uh, everything's gone. Yeah, have is completely is removed. Is radio is in burnout. Have is completely destroyed. Radio is in burnout. Keep me posted on cap once you get inside. Top of the cap to the northeast of intersection at this point. Hang a butt, stay on spawn. Right Squad uh, 7, do you copy right now? We're capping right now. It's 25 percent to neutral. Okay, if you're dead, spawn um, on next flag, move mark. Squad 7, we're ready for pickup. Hab is on one you of the flags. I'm gonna take you to that mark here. and we're gonna yeah. set up a hab there so we can start southeast. pushing the next point as soon as we capture intersection. Like a half a squad. I've already set a fob on the next uh, point. I'm already on it. Charlie attack marker. Do you still want to have uh, on that mark right there? Because where you are. Yeah, that'll be the next cluster of flags after the one that we're on. That'd be good to have. Just be careful of Vix and shit. Oh, squad. Oh, we, man. We, we 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 okay. Uh, Keep me posted. To the tab creation mark to the very west. Because the next point is north, is uh, south of that. Uh, is, is enemy, oh, right there, right there in front of us. Tank. Is there enemy alley? They're hitting it hard from Open south up right now. So if you guys down here. If it comes to us. Okay, anyone who goes down, spawn with SL, spawn uh, south here. This is next flag. They have a fob here, they're down. Okay, see the hat. I'm gonna give you FTL. Our radio's here. Can I get one of you with me? From the Once you have it to bleed out. 
Uh, I'll just go with tap. I'll do it down. Once again, if anyone dies, I need you over here. We fit. Oh. You're not that thick yet, Cap. Yet. Oh, we're losing the defense point. They just started capping it's too late. suburbs. I know. I'm proud of them. Chris, Wait, for me Chris to Kyle. Respond. Chris Kyle, respawn. Chris Kyle, respawn. Some more fun things to do. Okay, I uh, need three in cap range. So, I'll th here. Just fucking get out for a second, Cap. I'll drop a rally inside. Hey, squad 7, I'm gonna wait. Oh, I hear it. Okay, get in. I'm in Cap. I'm gonna bring vehicle on the main highway along Lex School. There's lots Either way, of uh, enemies that you're in so that area. Command, I'm gonna bring squad 7 to assist with the Cap there. I'll pick up Archie. So at that point I was just waiting to have enough people on that flag that I could leave and take one person with me to build on next flags. As you heard, the helicopter squad was already talking about building a fob up there um, on the next cluster, and they have, so I'm going to go for the Mersey Bleed cluster, just so that we have fobs over the entire western end of the map. I could double back and build anything else if we end up in a bad situation on any one of these flags. And meanwhile, I'm also trying to get the rest of the team up to speed. Guys, the fight's gonna go away from intersection pretty quickly, so check your maps and be ready to adjust. Once we have Overground Village fully neutral, start spawning here and on the fob uh, to the west. We have fobs on both of their them. next flags. Uh, and six, there's contacts behind you. On the other side. Rally on the other side. That's what my guys are saying. I let them know. It's a bit ballsy, but we'll try to set up a fob for every single one of their next flags. Rather than double fobbing any one All of right. them. We'll see how it goes. Risky strat. But Do you know listen. the next flag? Yeah, so we're on uh, one, and then the next one's on this fob to our west, or somewhere where we could be driving past it right now. So we're south city, and final flag's north city. Okay. So they have mortars in their mercy bleed. We can hear the mortars going on right now, and we see a hab in a second, and I decide to rush it. I coast up on and kill mortar fobs all the time, but I failed to consider that this is actually their last fob on the map. That's a hab. It's a hab. Right now. Oh, hop out, like hop out, hop out, hop out, hop out. enemies, two enemies. Didn't expect. I guess it makes sense. We just killed their village hab, so they all spawn here and start running south, which is good for the team, but sucked for us at that exact moment. <laughs> yeah. Let's try to coast on it and do what we normally do to mortar fobs. Either way, if anybody's down, me, Archie, start getting ready for the next flag to pop up. Um. They Beard, will you start walking north so towards move? You are, uh, uh, In fact, everybody start definitely. walking towards uh, move mark and spawn in there. 50%. I went and ran into the mortars just for you. The furthest and north it can be is this water mark. The furthest east it can be is somewhere around this vicinity. Most of the rest of them are pretty close to our fob. Anyway, from this point on, I'm just trying to get some people to go for the next flag in line since we had a bunch of blueberries spawn at the objective that we had just secured. So they're going to finish up capping just fine, I have no doubt. And I'm just getting ready to get a quick uh, capture afterwards, but we bled so many tickets on the mid and we had the advantage of letting them capture the mid first and getting additional tickets for taking that back. The game just ends when we full cap the uh, point that we had just made it to. Go for it. Man, I was... Yeah, Good job. Oh, oh, on their side, uh, last game, oh, they had no idea what the oh, they were doing. It is my opinion that Hilly is in the I did absolutely this game. literally put fucking everywhere. everyone. I put in that work for all of you. I put in that work. I got negative. Totals look